you have never told this story publicly, and I am honored and thrilled because I think this is this should be brought to the this should be brought to the people. Yeah, and you, I know your your part of you is thinking, don't do it, and I, I, but you got to do it. I'm yeah. doing it. Okay, great. So, yeah. at the old NFL Network <clears throat> setup, there were conference rooms, and <clears throat> one conference room after another was named after famous football players. So the NFL game day morning meeting that you were part of all those years when you were Marshall Falk segment producer, right. Chris Brockman, um, we met for many years in something called the Montana Room, <clears throat> named after Joe Montana. And in the Montana Room is one of the most iconic football photos that 49er fans would know on site. And I'll explain it when we put it up on the screen right here oh. for our radio audience. Oh. It's Montana and... Bill Walsh in the old candlestick taking on the Bears for crying out loud, right? You can see that on the on the on the scoreboard there. And it's Montana looking at Walsh and Walsh looking at Montana. They're both taking a knee on the turf there. And it looks like they're drawing up a play in the yeah. turf with their fingers, right? It's like kids do in the playground in the backyard, just draw a play up in the dirt. And so while we're waiting, <clears throat> presumably it, it memory fades, but we'll just assume we're waiting for Irv to arrive. Um <laughs> The meeting is not yet started. Or Marshall. So or, <laughs> Mooch, is, Mooch says the following. Got a great story about this photograph that I've never told. And so you know how it works with oh, Mooch. Okay. I mean, of course. We're all like, okay, like, okay, okay, you have the floor. 10, 15 Steve minutes. Steve Mariucci, oh, <clears throat> you know have the floor, please. You, please, so, here we go. This that is- That photograph was, you know, it's like you said, it's iconic. It's like, that is so cool. A couple of Hall of Famers. Down on a knee, just talking the next play. <laughs> We've all done that when we're eight years old, right? Well, <clears throat> so now I'm coaching the 49ers. You're the actual coach. Of the 49ers. I'm actually coaching the 49ers. And Joe, you know, he wasn't, he's, he, I didn't coach Joe. He was gone. Steve Young was there. Pretty good player. <laughs> Heard of him. And um, so, and then the photographer was Mike Zagaris. You know, and there's a lot of stories about Mike Zagaris, man. He, anyway, he used to be the photographer like the Rolling Stones and everything. Anyway, um, so I just got to thinking, gosh, that would be cool if, uh, if I could have a photo like this someday, you know, like with Steve Young. And I don't know if I'm going to last one month with the Niners or five years or what, where, where this will end, but... That would be a cool photo to have with Steve Young. <laughs> so, so I'm not kidding. We're playing a game. We're playing a game, and we're winning pretty big. Second quarter, second down. And I'm looking around, and up, boom, there's Mike Segaris. Mike Segaris is right on, right on the sideline. And I went, boom, oh, my God. That's probably where he was sitting or kneeling when he took that photo of Bill Walsh and Joe Montana. So I went, time out. <laughs> <laughs> you called a timeout in an actual NFL game. <laughs> Absolutely no reason to call a timeout at all. <laughs> all right? Steve looks at me and goes, what? <laughs> timeout. Come here. And he goes, why? <laughs> Come here. So, <laughs> so he's so. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. These mics are so big; they can yeah. hear me from here. So here he comes. Yeah. And I'm going. Okay. So Sagaris is still there. Mm-hmm. This is my moment, man. This is my moment. So here it comes, Steve, and he's walking. He's wondering why in the world I'm calling timeout second yeah. down and five. There's nothing to talk about. Yeah. All right. So as he's approaching, <laughs> I take a knee. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm going to pose for this picture. I don't give a shit. So, so I, I come down, take a knee, and I'm waiting for Steve to come and take a knee right next to me on the field, right? So all of a sudden, our, our, our equipment guy, Kevin Lartique, he goes, Steve, you want some water? And I'm sitting right there, and he took a right. He goes over there, and he's, he's getting water and his helmet with Greg Knapp and all those other guys, and I'm sitting here like this. <laughs> this is not what I was thinking about right here. Steve Young's supposed to be here with me. He's over there drinking water. <laughs> and then I go, okay, so I'm going to have to do it some other time here. And they came back up, and here comes Steve. goes, what? I go, ah, nothing. Good job. Let's go back in the game. <laughs> <It's like, it's laughs> <like, laughs> so... I'm sure he's watching this from home. Oh my! And now God. he knows. Wow. Now he knows that the timeout. He so Steve Young never knew why you called. Do you remember who you were playing against at this point in time? 
Do you remember this? I don't know. Okay, so you're up big. It's at home in Canada. We're up big. We're up 28 to 2 or something, second quarter. And it was a uh, oh wasted timeout, but it was a chance oh to take God. that photo. And it was, it was, I was ready. Steve wasn't ready. <laughs> I, was, I was ready. You know, he just went up, took a little detour. That's all. <laughs> And so he has, to this day, no idea why you called that timeout. Well, out. he'll know now because I'm sure he'll get blown up on his on his phone. And you know, Mooch just wanted to take a photo with you, and oh, you screwed it God. up. Did you fire the water guy immediately <laughs> for ruining the photo oh, op? Jake, why did you give him water, man? I mean, he didn't need water. It's second down. And so, it's like, <laughs> I didn't tell anybody that. That was really embarrassing. Oh my God. Not really. What happened in the game? Like, did you did that timeout become crucial at we some point? I think it was Atlanta. We oh, kicked okay. it, but right. I mean, <laughs> with Steve was playing, we were really good. <laughs> it was a whole yeah, favor. It it's funny how you're a good coach when you have a good quarterback. Oh my God! Weird. That's yeah. he told that story, and the whole like, you could imagine you've been there. Yeah, with course, telling these the stories, the whole table was rolling. <laughs> laughing, just like I was right there. Oh, All man. right. Now the cat's out of the bag. It is. <laughs> so I'll get a call from Sagaris. He'll go, Darn it, I was probably ready for that. Did he, he not know it either? You no, 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 no. You but told nobody I what told your nobody, intentions Rich. were. Rich. But I knew he would have taken it. He was sitting right there. They're waiting for photographs all day long, right? And he would have, he would have taken it. It would have been exact. It would have been exact. <laughs> Except my hair wasn't white like Bill Walsh's was. It is now, but it wasn't at that time. That would have been great, man. Look at that. I was ready Take for a it. Knee and I was like, taking why? a knee by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? Like, <laughs> Take a knee. Why? Coach, she goes time out. Why? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.